it really makes me upset. I'm telling you the truth. I've gotten to the place now where I don't say I come from Mission Hill. I don't say that anymore. Where are you telling me from? I'm from Boston. I swear they ain't saying nothing. We the best. We the last ones left. They'll run. It's three on one. He's got to turn up. And the damn thing changed. We still bang that kick off. Yeah. yeah. Those are not BJ Mackey numbers. Turn it up. If you were from the Mission Hill Projects, then you'd have to know who Wayne Turner was. In his last three games, those are not B.J. Mackey numbers. Turner has hit six straight. Hello there, on fire! He was the kid who led Kentucky to two national championships and three Final Fours. But if you weren't from the Mission Hill Projects, you may not have known that Wayne Turner had a brother who was just as good. Tiny Turner had talent that was unbelievable. I remember playing with him one year in the Rucker game, and I was the guy to go, and I was just sitting there just doing the other stuff, you know. I was picking rolls, screening, hey, you take the ball, because he had that much talent. The show was about Tiny. It was all about Tiny. When you know, these guys were playing basketball, I do remember that that was almost the, the only time they really looked free, you know, and looked like happy and fluid, you know. And the bell would ring and boom, back to the cell, you know. Wayne was lucky to get out of here. He was very lucky to get out of here. And Tiny not so lucky, Tiny, right? Tiny not so lucky. You had Wayne Turner, a McDonald's All-American, and Tiny Turner, a street ball legend, both living under the same roof. There were a lot of young people in Mission Hill that um, found themselves challenged by social and political forces that were way, way beyond their control. You know, it's, it's nothing for me to come out of my mother's house, going to school, and, and, and there's a dope in the hallway getting high. You know, somebody's in the elevator smoking crap. This is things that we see every day, every single day as a youth. I mean, yeah, it was, it was very difficult for me to see Tiny slip away because Tiny wasn't the first one to slip away. Mainly it was Isaiah Thomas, but Kenny Anderson, who guys who played my position, grew up, you know, in the housing, you know, project developments, wanting to be this, you know, the star basketball player. It inspired me, and it, and it made me believe that I can do the same thing. It's like Biggie Small said, you know what I mean? You either, you know, selling crack rock or you got a wicked jump shot. I just happened to do both. 